bom. Yep, you already know. You already know. How did we do today? Terrible. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, so your boy just got back from Walmart. I bought every single Yu-Gi-Oh pack at Walmart. As you guys can see earlier on in the video, I bought a ton of stuff. I literally bought every single thing that they had to offer there at that Walmart. So $1,000 right here. Is it worth it? Can we get $900 back? <laughs> I don't know, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this video nonetheless. And whatever cards I pull out of these packs, these cards are going to be going towards my sealed only Dark Road deck. So if you guys haven't seen episode one or episode two, make sure you guys check it out. The link will be in the description box below. I'm going to try to get as many cards as I possibly can to incorporate into my Danger Dark Road deck that I built last week. So without further ado, let's begin. Guys, look at this. Look at this thing right here. Look at this. There is about... 40, 50 blister packs right here. Immortal Destiny, we got, you know, some Battles of Legends, Heroes, Revenge. We can potentially pull the BLS link that's in here, which is very, very awesome. Next right here, I got the last two mystery power cubes at Walmart. This mystery cube contains five rare cards, five battle packs, one figure hanger, and 75 common cards. Whereas this one contains two booster packs, one duelist pack, five vintage cards, five rare cards, and 55 common cards. So these are the two last remaining mystery power cube in the Yu-Gi-Oh section at the Walmart that I was at. It's really rare to come across the 2019 Megatons at the Walmart that I actually went to. So right here, I got the last three. So I'm really looking forward to be getting more Danger cards to add onto my Danger Dark Road deck for my sealed only Yu-Gi-Oh. So hopefully we can get some Danger cards out of this thing. Next right here, everyone's favorite, the Mystery Power Box right here. The last two, one Dual Power, one Legendary Collection one. This is really hard to come across and I'm really lucky to actually be able to find this at the Walmart. Very old school. Hopefully we can get some good cards out of this thing. And last but not least, we got Legendary 2, the Dual Cannon me here is Game Boy Edition aka Legendary Collection GX. Let's start off with the blisters. Damn, holy macaroni. This is a lot of blisters. This is a lot of blisters that I have in front of you guys right here. And let me organize this for you guys right here so you guys can have an idea on what the blisters that I got. Okay, so five, four, three. Okay guys, so here is all the blister packs that I got at the Walmart that I was in. So right here we got 15 Battles of Legends blister packs, okay? We got 11 blister packs of the Legendary Duelist, the Immortal Destiny, and the cool thing about each blister pack is that each blister pack contains two packs, so 11 times two is 22. So there's a total of 22 packs of the Legendary Duelist, Immortal Destiny. And right here we got eight random blister packs. So we got, you know, Shadows in Valhalla. We also got some, you know, Circuit Break, Metal Raiders, which is cool. Uh, we got Cyber Horizon, Feral Servant, and of course, two Chaos Impact uh, Blister Packs. Last but not least, we got seven of the Walmart Mystery Blister Packs. Each of this thing right here has 25 cards plus one rare card. So I'm actually very excited to see on what we can potentially pull out of this thing right here, which would be really, really awesome. Let's just start with the Battles of Legends Heroes Revenge first. Let's fast forward this real quick. All right, so in front of you, we got 15 packs of Battles of Legends, Heroes Revenge. Without further ado, boys, let's begin. Hopefully, we can get the BLS link, okay? I just want to get the BLS link. I think these are European print cards. I don't know why. They just look darker than the usual American print. But anyways, I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. Come on, let's go. BLS link. Ooh, Vision Hero Vion. Nice. Vision Hero Trinity. Cool, cool, cool. Vion is great. Especially with Militia at 3 now. Holy macaroni. Monster right here. Uh, this will be a great addition to my deck. And also the BLS link. I need the BLS link. ASAP. That card is very important for my Dark Road deck. Oh, Interrupted Kaiju Slumber. Card's really good. Nice. So there you go. Interrupted Kaiju Slumber. We can potentially use that in our side deck. With Gamma Seals as well, which is nice. So come on. Oh! Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god, BLS... Thank you, Jesus! Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! This is real! Oh my God, guys! Oh my goodness! 
my sealed only deck just got way better. I was praying to the Yu-Gi-Oh gods right here that we would get this thing. Oh my goodness. Sorry, headphone users. Ridiculous. Plus. Soul Plus right here. Wow. This card is like, I believe, like $80 right now. I don't know, $80, $100, 100 Canadian. I, I, I don't know exactly the price on this card, but I know this card is expensive. And it's like one of the best cards in the set. So we got the BLS link. Very, very cool. Very, very awesome. Wow. I feel like blisters are just sometimes overall way better than just packs for a booster box. Ooh. Oh, come on. Come on. We can also get Almirage as well. Holy macaroni, guys. I'm shaking, bro. I'm shaking. Side frame Lord Lambda. Nice. Potentially put this in a side deck as well. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Not side deck. Extra deck. Vision Hero Increase. Very cool. Very cool. So far, so good. Lambda and DLS Link. I'm already very, very satisfied. Oh, wow. Another Lambda. Another Lambda. How much is this? It's like $20, right? Tell me this is like $20. Come on. Wow. Another Lambda. Can we get another DLS Link? We get another BLS link. Oh, I'll go crazy. Oh, my goodness. Wow. So far, I'm already very happy. Very, very happy with this blister pack. Oh, my goodness. Why are these cards all... These cards are all warped. Look at that. Really warped. These are definitely European print cards. I'm sure they're European print. Wow. All right. Come on. Oh, high-speed Roy rubber band shooter. Cool. We got four more packs to go. So far, so good. Panker Tops, really good addition to my deck. I need three of these, but I only got two. So, great addition to also my uh, my Danger Dark World deck. I main deck this card. This card is so good going second. So, definitely going to be put, uh, putting this card into good use into my side deck. Nice. Ooh, another Panker Tops. Nice. Cool. There you go. Two more packs to go. Come on, what can we get? Fortune Lady. Oh. I was gonna say, oh, can I use this card as a super poly target? But I don't have any zombie cards. Last and final pack. Wow. There's, there you go. Shy Striker Ace Ray. Drawn off for our final pack. So I'm very happy on what we got out of here, guys. Oh my goodness, this is so good. So, so good. Very happy. Very, very happy that I was able to get the BLS link and also the side frame Lord Lambdas. We can actually buy the special edition where Gamma comes in so we can incorporate Gammas into our side deck with the Danger Dark World deck. But damn, you know, these are three new great edition cards to my Danger Dark World deck, 100,000%. So there you guys have it. All right, guys, Immortal Destiny time. Without further ado, let's fast forward this thing real quick. two packs of the legendary duelist Himoto Destiny. Without further ado, let's begin, guys. Okay, so we all know that we can get Captain Gold. Uh, you mean I mean a Dusted Gold and also Bane out of this thing. So we pull a Bane, we literally make our monies back, which is what I'm looking forward to do in this blister packs right here that we have in front of you guys. Okay, so let's see if we can get Malicious Bane. I don't think that we can get any cards. That would be a good addition uh, to the Danger Dark World deck. Maybe that Dark Sanctuary card, which you can search Grappa directly from our deck to our hand, which can be really good. But, uh, oh no, not Dark Sanctuary. I totally forgot. Oh! Oh my god! This card comes in the set! Perfect! Perfect! Another super, uh, another super poly target. Another super poly target. I need this for my Danger Dark World deck, 100%. So put that on the side. Oh my goodness, that's good. That's really, really good. All right. For my super poly target, which was really nice. So there you go. I needed that. Starting Venom Fusion Dragon. This this one can also go into my extra deck as well. I already got a copy of this card for my last mystery cube. I already had this in my extra deck, but it's good I always have another one. Alright, can we get Bane? I need a Bane, please. Come on, Bane, a Bane. Let's get a Bane. Alright. Next pack. Predator Plant. Okay, there you go. Another Predator Plant card. We're looking for Malicious Bane. Try to, try to actually make our monies back. Oh, Sinister Necrom. So we did get a one, one Evil Hero card. Uh, which is pretty good. I rather prefer a Dusted Gold. But Necrom will still do. Okay, okay. Another Predator Plant. Super Rare. Come on, give me the Bane. Give me the Bane, baby. Yo, it's something with Walmart blister packs that just blesses us so much. There's something with Walmart blister packs. I don't know what it is, but Walmart just gets me so lucky. 
So lucky with these things. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. You're telling me this is not crazy. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. It looks like I'm making my money back. Well, not entirely, but it's looking good so far. Holy macaroni, guys. Holy macaroni. Yo, what's in these Walmart blister packs, man? I want you guys to comment in the comment section below. I feel like they stack these blister packs. They, they have to stack them. Oh my goodness, like these, these packs are way better than buying the booster boxes. Ridiculous. I truly think that the Walmart blister packs are, are just crazy. Crazy, crazy. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. All right, guys, you got a couple more packs to go. If you get a Duster Gold, holy macaroni. We're, our Immortal Destiny packs are literally complete. Okay, Doom Caliber Knight. Cool, cool. All right, guys, we got four more packs to go. Come on. Nope, nothing there. Come on. Nothing in this one. Two more packs. A Duster Gold, are you here? Dark Spirit of Banishment. And last but not least. Come on, give me some. Nothing. But it's okay, guys. We still got this for our sealed only deck. And we also got another copy of Star and Venom Fusion Dragon, which is really good. So, so far, really, really happy with my, with my pulls. Oh my goodness, guys. There you go. Malicious Bane. Oh my goodness. The most expensive card in this set. I believe this card is still like $80, right? 60 USD, 80 Canadian. So this one right here includes one boost pack, one rare, and three cards. So let's see what we can get out of this thing. What rare card can we get? Oh, okay. Okay. Ring of Defense, Legendary Collection, Kaiba. Cool. So it comes with an ultra rare at least. All right, Shadows and Valhalla. Let's open this thing. Can we get an Ash Blossom? I remember this is the first set that Ash Blossom got reprinted in. So if we get an Ash, that'll be pretty cool. How to Entity Narla. Nice, so there you go. That's pretty much it for the first Shadows and Mahala. Oh, okay, another Ring of Defense. Okay, okay. That's how you're feeling, okay. Okay. Let's see what we get. Ash Blossom, come on. Mermaid Abyss Megalo. Upstart Golden Ninja and Gateway of Gateway to Chaos. Let's see what we can get from Circuit Break. Can we get that Ash Blossom? No, no, I don't know. Ash Blossom doesn't come in here. Circuit Break is Impermanence and Borrow Dragon, right? And evenly match. Come on. Ooh, over on Barrio, a Seeker Rare. Look at this, guys. Look, Metalverse. Nice. We did pull a Seeker Rare from a Blister Pack, which is really, really cool. So there you go. Over on Barrio. Let's go off to Cybernetic Horizon. Let's see if we can plus off this as well. Let's see if we can intentionally pull a Seeker Rare. And this thing right here says, new low price, extreme value. This pack was $6. It is not extreme value. Okay, anyways. Nice try, Walmart. Let's go. Ooh, World Legacy Survivor. Predator Beast, uh... Dragasius, Cybernetic Overflow, the best card in the game. That's pretty much it. No ultra rare in that one. Let's go off to Chaos Impact. Come on, let's go. Chaos Impact. Can we get a Prismatic Rare? Do you guys think we can get a Prismatic Rare? Come on. Dream Mirror Phantasms. Okay, cool. Nothing for the very first one. Let's go off to the next one. Okay, can, we, can we get a Prismatic Rare? Let me know, guys. I have faith. I have faith. Let's go, Chaos Impact. Let's go. Oh, Willing of the Unchained Souls. All right, unfortunately, no Prismatic Rares. Next one, we got Feral Servant and Metal Raiders. Includes one booster pack, two rares, and eight commons. So let's see how what we can get out of this thing. Very excited. I love these old school uh, pack openings. Okay, okay. Ignite, Ignite uh, Templar. Cool. Ooh, sure new uh, Shogun Saga. Nice, nice, nice. Two ultra rare cards and the feral servant. Let's see on what cards we can get out of this thing. Hopefully, an ultra rare or a secret rare from this set would be awesome. Ooh, no amount of extermination. Very cool. Nothing yet for this one. Let's go out to Metal Raiders. One of my favorite sets, by the way. Ooh, Trap Tricks Mantis. What else? Virus Cannon. Okay. Cool. Trap Tricks Mantis. Nice. Nothing here for this one. All right, guys, let's go Metal Raiders. Come on, Metal Raiders, give me some. Uh, new Atori, Ryukushin, Crawling Dr Ooh, Princess of the Tsurugi. Killer Needle, Sword of Deep Seated, and Rock Ogre Grotto, number one. All right, so that's pretty much it for all these blister packs right here. Let's go off to the random mystery 
cards right here from Walmart. Okay, this thing, I'm actually very, very excited to see on what cards we can potentially get out of this thing right here. We have a bunch of mystery stuff right here. Let's see. Oh, okay. Oh. So, one rare card. So, we got Mech Knight uh, Spectrum Supreme MP18. Right here. This is definitely European print right here. 100%. And the rest are just nothing too exciting. So, we got the Mech Knight card right here. I'm pretty sure you don't make too much value. Like, you don't get too much value out of this thing. And this thing is actually very expensive as well. This is like $10, man. Come on, Nick. They should put better cards in, in these things. Predator Plant. Man, finesse. Walmart is finessing the system right here. All right. 25 cards plus one rare card. That one rare card better be like at least a $5 card to, have, to you know, to be valued. You know what I mean? Like, they're not making, they're not giving us much value here. Like, look at this. Ninjutsu Art of Super Transformation, really? Come on, man. Nothing. There's no expensive comp. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Okay. Okay. Dark World Brainwashing. This is nice. I can definitely use this in my Dark World deck. Oh my goodness. I never expected this card to be in here. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Oh my god. This is good. I'm very happy now. Very happy. Very, very happy. Dark World Brainwashing. All right, guys. Next pack. Next one. Come on, these things are hassle to open. What is this? Oh. Okay, I need to open this thing. There we go. Ka Kaiki, the Unity Star. BLR. Nice. Nothing nothing really good in this one right here. Okay, Power Bond. Oh, okay. Cool Cyber Dragon cards, uh, which is awesome. But other than that, there's no staples we can possibly use. For our Danger Dark World deck, so we're gonna put that on the side. The only value cards that we got on this so far for our deck is definitely Dark World Brainwashing, but other than that, no luck. Okay, okay, okay. Oh my, one rare card. Now we got a rare. Oh, look at this Shifting Shadows. This card right here is definitely damaged. Extermination, Kyoto Waterfront. Okay, okay. Nice, cool. Some cool legendary dragon cards. Next pack. Come on, don't, 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 don't give me a rare. Give me something nice. Oh, right here. Sylvan, this card is definitely European print. Look look at the colors on that card. Definitely European print for sure. This looks fake. But it is not fake. Is it fake? No, it's not fake. It is, it is real. Um, what else? Infernoid, Atondo. Nothing. No, two more packs to go. Come on. Oh. Insector Axe, Zeta Hawk. Haven't seen this card in a while. A damn man eater bug. Shoutouts to the goat. Ooh, Mini Boro Dragon, Link Devil T, Goki Heal Ogre. Nothing, nothing for this one. Let's go off to the last and final mystery pack right here. Oh, Kaiki, the Unity Star. Once again, baby. All right, Ultra Guys. Seven tools of the band aid. Wow, nothing. I'm never gonna buy these things ever again. I don't think you can get so much like you can get too much value out of this thing. If you guys are like this thing was ten dollars a pack. Ten dollars a pack. Like this whole power is like probably like twenty-five cents at most. Alright guys, so that's pretty much it for the blister packs. Let's go off into the mega tins and the uh, legendary collections. So right here we got nine packs of the 2019 Mega Tins. These are the promo packs. Come on. Okay, Regeki, Monster Born Dark Rune, no more. These cards are definitely going to be included into my main or side deck of my new Danger Dark Road deck from my sealed only Yu-Gi-Oh. So there you go. Regeki, Monster Born Dark Hole. Not Dark Hole. Dark Rune, no more. These cards are really nice. New addition into the Monster Born Again, Dark Rune, no more. So that's the second copy of Dark Rune, no more, which is really, really awesome. Nice. And let's go off to the last one. Can we get Nibiru? Where is our Nibiru? No Nibiru. But we did, we did get three Dark Rune No More. So look at that. Already really great going second cards, Dark Rune No More. This is definitely going to be added into my side deck 100,000%. So this thing right here, it's really good for my sealed only Yu-Gi-Oh. Come on, Dangers, baby. Let's go, Dangers. Come on. 
nope, no dangers in this pack right here. We need to get as many danger cards as possible. We're looking for the snake, especially Nessie as well. Nessie's like the best one. Ooh, Dogman. Dogman is nice. Dogman is actually very, very nice. So this is definitely going to be incorporated into my main deck. 100%. The more danger cards I have in the main, uh, the better in my personal opinion. So there we have it. Next pack. Ooh, yes. Danger Mothman is very nice. Do little Chimera. Mothman is one of the best dangers when it comes to uh, playing dangers in Dark World. So, because this card is always a guaranteed discard, which is really nice. So, there we go. Danger Mothman. So, we got two dangers so far out of two packs. Uh, let's go out to the next one. Another danger. Danger response team. Okay. This one can also be incorporated into the main deck as well. So, there we go. A lot of danger cards right here, making me really, really happy. So, danger response team. This card can definitely be added 100%. Ooh, the Plixir Chimera too. Since I don't have access to uh, Violet Chimera, this card is definitely going to be incorporated into my extra deck because I do play um, Super Polymerization. This card requires two Cybers monsters. So you can actually use two Silent Elite monsters to make the Plixir Chimera, if you guys do not know. So sometimes this card might be even better than using Violet Chimera because this card is just like, it can clear itself from the extra monster zone. More dangers? Ooh, Trap Trick, okay. No danger cards here so far. Well, so far we got three danger cards, which is really awesome, but more will be better. Helio, Vampire Sucker, Cyber's Clock, Dragon. Cool, cool, cool. Come on, come on. Oh, Thunderbird, thank you. My third Thunderbird, my third Thunderbird, baby. So we got three Thunderbirds now, really awesome. Look at this, guys. I'm trying to build my sealed only deck. Like, I'm trying to complete my sealed only deck as quickly as I possibly can, and Megatons are helping me do that. So I'm very, very excited. All right, two more packs to go for the Mega Pack. Come on, baby, let's do it. Let's do it. Come on. Nope. No dangers in this one. Last but not least. All right, let's go. Come on. Oh, Thunder Trying Colossus, Realm of Danger. This card is not going to be used at all, but damn. All right, guys, so far, so good. We got a majority of the cards that we need for the deck right here. I'm going to incorporate these cards into my main deck of my Danger Dark World deck, 100,000%. All right, guys, Legendary Collection 2 of the Dual Academy Years, Game Board Edition. Without further ado, let's begin. I haven't opened this thing up in quite a long time. I'm very excited to see what we can pull out of this thing. I don't know if there's going to be any cards that we can use for a sealed only deck, but nonetheless, guys, I'm, I'm having so much fun opening up these packs right here. So there we go. Great Tornado. Dragonic Tactics. And there you guys have it. Let's go. Five Mega Packs. Come on. Oh, oh Crystal Beast Sapphire Pegasus. Dimension Fissure. Uh, sh uh, Shooting Doji. Fake Hero. Alright, nice. This card will not be a good card for our side deck because we need to use our graveyard. So, D Fissure. It's not that great for us. Oh, we can use DD Crow. DD Crow comes in this thing. So, we can definitely incorporate that into our side deck for Orcus. Ooh, Gladiator Beast. Uh, Hopolemus. Elemental Hero Granios. Nice. Mirror Gate. Space Gift. Crystal Regeki. Alright, guys, we got three more packs to go. Come on, come on. Evil Hero Lightning Golem. Golem. You Bell. Cool. Dark Fusion. Really nice. Really good looking card. I love the way this card looks. Especially as Ultra Rare version. Holy macaroni. We got two more packs to go. Alright, let's see what we can get. I'm looking to get a DD Crow. I really want a DD Crow for our side deck. Oh, Thunder King. Oh, there you go! Speaking of DD Crow, we got DD Crow for our side deck. Every single deck in today's metagame utilizes the uh, the graveyard, so DD Crow is just really, really good. Ooh, Shining Phoenix for Enforcer. This card looks absolutely beautiful. Oh my goodness. Uh, Neil we Neil's Wiseman. Wow. We also got Thunder King Ryo as well. Potentially can be a good first turn normal summon against decks that searches a lot, so card can be pretty good, but really happy with DD Crow. Definitely going to be incorporating this card into my side deck 100,000%. So. Beauty Crow is really good. And last but not least, come on. Non-Fusion Aerial. Cool. A Rampart Blaster. I haven't seen this card in so long. So nostalgic. Makes you so happy. Cloudy Beast Darius, Cloudy Beast Lanista, and Feather Shot. Alright, guys. There you go. There you guys have it. So the only card that we could use was definitely DD Crow. Alright, guys, so let's get started with dual power right here. The only card that I'm looking forward to getting out of dual power is Utopic Double. And double or nothing because we can potentially use those cards in our deck, which would be really uh, awesome to OTK our opponents. But anyways, our deck is already really good at OTK, but since we're actually able to put up multiple monsters with level fours on the field, we can actually use Utopic Double uh, for our deck right here. So there you go. Security Dragon is nice. 
cool. Let's go to the next one. Come on. Double or nothing. Okay, so we're, we're good on double or nothing. We're definitely going to be able to use this. I need Utopia Double. Because we already have Utopia from the last dual power that we got. Oh my god, yes! Yes, thank you! Guys, this, this sealed only challenge, I know that I spent a lot of money, but we're almost one step closer into finishing our Danger Dark Road deck. So this is episode number three. Let me know what you guys want to see in episode number four. So far, this is so this is great. And Utopia is already guaranteed in this thing as well, which is really cool. Alright, what else can we get? Oh, I wish all construct. Not gonna do us anything. Last but not least, for dual power. Come on. Nothing here. But so far, I am very happy with the results. We got Utopic Double and Double or Nothing. Alright guys, there you go. Legendary Collection number one. This is perfect because it fits our beautiful playmat. If you guys haven't gotten your playmat yet, make sure you guys get it today. Hit the link in the description box below at TX1.com. Get your Egyptian Guard card playmat today, guys. Let's get started, man. Link in the description box below to get your playmat today. All right, let me open this thing real quick. Shout out to the Egyptian gods, man. This is my childhood right here. Uh, Blue Eyes Dark Magician, also Red Eyes Beat Dragon. Let's see if we can potentially pull any uh, Ultra Rare or Secret Rares out of this thing, so. Okay, there you go. So that's pretty much it for the very first pack. Uh, nothing there. Let's go to Pharaoh Servant. Come on, Pharaoh Servant, give us some. Come on, Pharaoh. Light Force Sword. Cool, nothing for this one. Let's go off to Spell Ruler because these last three packs are my favorite three packs of all time. Let's go. Come on, Spell Ruler. Ooh, Messenger of Peace. Damn. So good. Let me just... Holy macaroni. Old card smell is ridiculous. Upstar... Ooh. Okay, okay. Upstar Goblin. This card can definitely be incorporated into my main deck to make the deck, the 39 card deck, to make it a little bit more consistent. There you go, Upstar Goblin. Nice. Very nice. So this this thing can be used in my Danger Dark World deck. Why not? All right, my favorite pack is Invasion of Chaos. So let's get started with these two cards first. Two packs first. All right. Mask of Darkness. Share the pain. Pumpkin, the King of Ghosts. Halloween is already over. <laughs> let's go off to Blue Eyes. Legends of Blue Eyes, White Dragon. Holy macaroni! Come on. Can we get a Blue Eyes? I'm getting Zodia Head. What can we get? Man Eater Bug. I'm Super Imaginator Bug, super classic, super nostalgic, holy macaroni, Flame Ghost. All right, guys, so far, so good. We got two Super Rares uh, so far, and this card is the OG. Who remembers this card? Let me know in the comment section below. What is your favorite card of the Legend of, Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon? Let's go off to Invasion of Chaos. If you can pull, uh, something nice would be good. Ooh, get Sufuma. If you can get like a Chaos Ember Dragon, that would have been crazy, but... Anyway, guys, I had so much fun opening up this thing right here. Um, I don't think we can get anything good out of this thing. It's really rare to get something good out of these out of these mystery power cubes. Okay, so there we go. Oh, Slifer the Sky Dragon. This is very cool. Definitely use this as my keychain. These rare cards are not great. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Wow. Not that great at all, guys. These things are really rare to plus. And this thing's like $30 a piece, by the way. $30 a piece. It is not good. Nothing can be incorporated into our Danger Dark World deck using these cards right here. Battle Pack's what? Monster League? And it's Battle Pack 3, right? So let's open up this thing. I believe you can still get Digusto Emerald out of this. I'm not sure if Digusto Emerald is worth anything out of this. But back in the day, guys, I remember getting a Prismatic Rare Digusto Emerald. It was such a big deal because it was like about... How, how much was Digusto Emerald back in the day? It was like $60 for a Prismatic Rare. Night Beam, okay. Cool, cool, cool. Leotar. Come on. Skill Successor. One Shot Wand. There you go. Got two more packs to go. Come on, I got some will be good. Mizuki. Nice. Last but not least. Come on. There you go, Zero Gravity, Magical Exemplar, Goblin Elite Force, No Arms, I'm not even gonna pronounce his name, and Explore, Exploder Dragon to round off for our first Mystery Power Cube. You know what? Man, this is, the only pro this is probably the coolest thing that came out of this Mystery Power Cube. Ugh, come on, let's go. Okay, what is this? So we got, ooh, 2017 Megaton. Okay, nice, cool. 
Oh, we got Destiny, a Destiny Soldier. Nice. We also got Duelist Pack Kaiba. Oh, okay. Junk Connector, Plague Spider Zombie, and V Tiger Jet. Okay, what else do we get? Mech Knights, Dark World Brainwashing. So we got three copies of that so far. Do we get anything else? Something, something good. That's pretty much it, right? Update Jammer. <laughs> I don't know if we can use this. But there you go. We haven't got anything good out of these Mystery Power Cubes other than, of course, the Dark World Brainwashing for our Dark World deck right here. Let's start with the 2017 Megaton. What's in the 2017 Megaton? This is the Zodiac here, right? I could be wrong. Full Metals Fusion, okay. Johnny Mirror Force, okay. Let's go out to Destiny Soldiers. Come on. Oh, look at this. Look how warped Destiny Soldiers is. There you, go. there you go. And this is European print. You guys can see by the colors. Do you draw Arc Lord Christia? Creeping Darkness. Spanish two Dark Monsters. We have I have a level four Dark Monster for your deck to your hand. Nice. And Abyss Actor, Evil Heal. I do this pack Kaiba. And we get the ultimate rare Chaos Emperor Dragon. If we do, that would be crazy. Sword Stalker, Polymerization. Oh, Hitatsu, Me Giant, and Vampire Lord to round off for our mystery power cube. Let me put this to the side. What do we get? So right here we got, okay, Battles of Legends, Light's Revenge. Oh, finessed. Finesse the system, baby. There you go. There you go. Walmart is still playing games with us. What else? Oh, the starter deck, Link Strike. Metal Raiders, cool. Metal Raiders. Battles of Legend Lights Revenge. And also a Deep Pendulum Evolution. Okay. Battles of Legend Lights Revenge. Cool. Ooh, okay. The Dragons Collide Structure Deck. Oh! Okay. BCCG Legendary Collection. Joy's World Token. Nice. This is awesome. We did get at least a graded rare, a graded card, which is not bad. I'm not complaining. Okay, so we got a Maximum Crisis Booster Pack. Ash Blossom can be in this. Ooh, Rising Rampage. Raging Tempest, sorry. And last pack, we got, ooh, Invasion of Chaos. All right, guys, you know what? This is our last, our last destination. Oh, and also Minerva as well. Ooh, this actor, Current Razor. Nice. Ooh, Ray Raptor, Satellite Falcon, Gladiator Beast, Ada Beta, Gla Gla Gareth, Light Swan Warrior, and White Oral Dolphin. Okay, so there you go. Twilight uh, Ninja Jogan, Destiny Hero Dreamer, Kameon the Time Lord, Super Enemy Samurai Steam Train King, and Mermel Bistius. Guy Dragon the Thunder Charger, Bujin Tsukiyomi, Gladiator Beast Noxius, and Evolution right here. Ooh, Astrograph Sorcerer. Too bad this card is banned. Uh, Black Fang Magician. Zephyr Divine Strike and Clee Fort Monolith. What can we get? This is the Zodiac set. Zodiac Borbo, Uhu Delta the Magnet Warrior, Zodiac Ram Ram, Super Soldier Synthesis, Zodiac Combo, and Shino Bird Pigeon. Metal Raiders, can we get a Mirror Force? Let's get a Mirror Force, baby. Oh, Cyber Source, Crawling Dragon, Larvae Moth, Princess again, Block Attack, Mushroom Man number two, Punished Ego and Guardian of the Labyrinth. Crazy Walmart video. Let's go last and final pack. All right, let's do it. Self-destruct button. Manju to 10,000 hands. Fiend's hand mirror. DNA transplant. Mad dog of darkness. Grand Manju de Eza. Nice. Grand Manju is still pretty cool. Primal Seed, Gale Lizard, and last but not least, Old Jama Yellow to wrap off for our video. All right, guys. All right, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. If you guys enjoyed that video, make sure you guys smash the thumbs up button. It'll be absolutely amazing. So overall, guys, I had so much fun making this video. I've never done something like crazy like this ever in my entire life. But I'm just very glad that I was able to get some new edition cards to support my sealed only Yu-Gi-Oh deck. These are cards that are being incorporated into my deck 100%. Really glad I was able to get the BLS uh, link. We also got some danger cards right here to also support the Danger Dark World deck. If you guys want to see an updated list, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. Let me know what videos you guys want to see next when it comes to sealed only this was episode number three i'm trying my best to just add newer cards into the deck let me know your thoughts about this video in the comment section below and thank you guys so much for watching again this is your boy sam from team sarah sam signing out all right guys peace